Take one. Good day, folks. I'm Mick from Iron Fem. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs> G'day folks, I'm Mick van Sale from Ironman 4x4. Recently during lockdown, I came across a very interesting video on a YouTube channel hosted by an automotive engineer. In fact, he has a master's degree in automotive engineering. So I'm inclined to believe what he has to say. It's a very interesting topic and it has to do with wheel nuts, the talking of wheel nuts or wheel studs and the use of copper slip on your wheel nuts and wheel studs. So I have in the past battled to loosen a wheel nut on a flat tire because the wheel and tire shop has over tightened it and not torqued it properly. And it is something that you really should check on your own vehicle, especially before you go on a long trip, is check that your wheel nuts are torqued properly and that you're able to loosen them should you have a flat next to the road. Now, the big thing is that there's specific torque settings for your wheel nuts, and it ranges from 90 to about 110 Newton meters, torqued on a proper calibrated torque wrench. Now, I've always believed that it's a good idea to apply a little bit of copper slip to the threads of your wheel nuts or wheel studs, just to make sure that they don't seize up, and if you do have a flat wheel, or even more importantly, if your wife's driving the vehicle and she has a flat next to the road, that she can actually loosen those wheel nuts. And it goes a long way to prevent any corrosion between the wheel nuts and the wheel studs. So I pretty much knew everything that he was talking about, but one thing that I didn't know that I found very interesting and very surprising was the fact that your torque setting for your wheel nuts or wheel studs has to change and change significantly when you use copper slip. And contrary to what one would think would be the right thing to do, you actually have to decrease the torque setting of the torque wrench and of your wheel nuts and wheel studs when you do apply some copper slip. It's counterintuitive if you ask me, and I, yeah, that's the way I saw it. But the fact of the matter is, the master's degree engineer says that you have to drop the torque setting by as much as 30%. So if you're looking at a normal torque setting of about 110 Newton meters on a four wheel drive's wheel nut, you'll have to drop that down to late 70s or call it around 80 Newton meters. It doesn't sound right guys, but trust me, it actually does make sense when you look at the facts. So bear that in mind. If you do use copper slip on your wheel nuts or wheel studs, you need to drop that torque setting down by a good 30%.